This video is a demonstration of the corner suture technique for a V-shaped wound. Your first step in performing this technique will be to start at a non-flap edge of the wound, and you're going to suture epidermal to subdermal, suturing perpendicular to the wound towards that flap edge. Next, you're going to rearm your suture needle and you're going to do so in a fashion that will allow you to suture parallel to the wound as opposed to perpendicular to the wound, because now you're going to go through and through the edge of that flap. You'll use your forceps to retract that tissue edge, and you'll suture subcuticular through that flap edge. This is a bird's eye view of what your hands will look like. Here's another point of view to demonstrate how this technique will look. Now it's really important that your subdermal subcuticular throw is in the same tissue plane as where you exited the tissue for your first throw that went epidermal to subcuticular. Otherwise, you can end up unintentionally and inadvertently burying that flap edge. When you get to the other end of the wound, you'll again rearm your suture needle, this time back to perpendicular as you did with your very first throw because now you're going to throw subcuticular to epidermal. Again, be mindful to stay in the same plane with your entry point subcuticular as you were for that subcuticular through, throw through the flap. You'll exit such that your exit point is directly across from your very first entry point, so that when it's time to tie it off, We'll bring this together nice and evenly and bring that flap edge together in order to approximate your margins. This is a technique that can be used for V-shaped wounds and can also be used on Y-shaped wounds, X-shaped wounds, really any wound that has a number of flap edges that converge in a single point. And I have separate demonstration videos on how to apply these to those situations. To learn more about this technique and other basic and advanced techniques in wound care, visit www.lacerationrepair.com.